This video is brought to you in part by SecondChanceGaming.com. They are a direct sponsor of me and this channel, so if you're looking to buy or sell cards, then definitely check out their site linked in the description. I'm a big fan of how they do business, so check them out and let them know that Phoenix sent you. But with that out of the way, let's get straight into the video. Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and this video is going to be another Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Duel video, but this time we're going to be playing with Cleeforts, and we're going to be playing with the new Cleefort Link monster, Cleefort Genius. This card is actually a fantastic, fantastic thing. Like, it's actually just super, super good. Uh, in terms of like what it allows for Cleeforts is what it allows for um, for um, uh, what other deck uh, for ABC for desk bots even um, it's just such a wonderfully generic link monster I actually really really like it um, so I wanted to play with it for a bit so what we have access to here is we've got enough of these uh, of these traps I'm going to add climate change so that I can set a bunch of cards and have that. Uh, and have that be, uh, you know, somewhat reasonable. Uh, Master Rule 4 uh, took place and put Scout here instead of giving it its own zone, so uh, it kind of changes the way you have to deal with uh, your placement of cards in certain ways. Uh, this is going to be problematic. Not really, actually, never mind. Um, I can just use this next turn, add a card, and we could just go from there. Um, I should have realistically put. Uh, Put solemn warning over here. I was just I got carried away with talking and didn't think about it. Uh, but you, I would want solemn warning in this zone because that's my pendulum zone. <laughs> so um, having access to that being there would be you know beneficial. So desires into duality. My opponent has no extra deck. Oh, playing barrier stun. I see. All right. Well, um, I think that my deck is the superior deck in terms of the stunny decks. Uh, we will definitely find out. Uh, but this is the Monster Bounce, so that's kind of problematic. Uh, but that's a Fossil Dyna. Doesn't really matter because I'm just going to be able to like skill drain it. I'm going to be able to Storming Mirror Force it. Uh, there's a few different things that I have access uh, into doing. Uh, but ending with just the Fossil Dyna on the field. No, no other plays. Alright. Fair Shout, uh, my dude. But so I'll activate my scout, uh, and we'll see what happens here. If it takes a uh, if it takes an MST or something, then that's just fine because we've got the climate change. Uh, but so what I can do is I can get access into just another monster to summon. Honestly, it doesn't really matter what it is. Uh, I guess I will just get I guess Helix because I can tribute carrier and uh, and bounce that, or I could just normal summon it and attack. Uh, there's a few different things I have accessible uh, play into. But so, yeah. I will just start this string because I want to be able to use this climate change in some sort of uh, a good capacity. So I will just... Um, I will just... Uh, I'm going to normal summon without tribute. And normal summon this over here. Uh, that way next turn I can get access into stealth uh, as a play. And we can go from there. Potentially. Uh, this is this is a weird this is gonna be a weird yet interesting matchup because we're both playing stun decks but like I said I believe my stun deck could be superior because you know pendulum monsters um, Phantom Knights of cursed sword dude dad man uh, I'm gonna go ahead and flip this skill drain uh, so that my stuff gets bigger uh, this because uh, this makes it gain 800 attack and it won't die once oh a dark bribe well that clears my zone so that's fine um, that does clear my zone, which is fine. I'm okay with this. Uh, and then I could battle phase, attack, but I don't want to... I can use Summoner's Art now, which is good. I can use this Climate Change, which is also good. Um, yeah, there's a few different things I have access into now. Uh, but I'm definitely not worried about the position I'm in. I can go ahead and Climate Change for one, but I don't think that's worth... Um, especially since this is on the board. Uh, but I can Storming Mirror Force that away, so that's not even really that big of an issue. But I'm going to go ahead and Summoner's Art here for the uh, for the Monolith, just so I don't like run risk of drawing it next turn. Uh, and if this t if this takes another Dark Bribe, then <laughs> that'll be great. Um, I would be completely fine with that. But so what I'll do is I will now set this Storming Mirror Force uh, because I've got a plan. I've got a plan for the next uh, sequence of turns. Uh, and that is, next turn I can use Scout to add another um, another normal summonable monster, which I can then normal summon uh, over the Helix. Ooh, a Mage Power. Ooh. 
Well, you're going to run into this Storming Mirror Force, and if you have another Dark Bribe for me, then I'm fine with that as well. Um, because it just, it's, uh, it's easy for me to deal with. But so, this goes into that. I will Storming Mirror Force here. If this baits out another Dark Bribe, then great. If not, then I, this is, this is automatically going to be a plus one no matter how it goes. Forbidden Lance? Well, I'll just chain the other Storming Mirror Force then. No worries, mate. We've gotten so many cards out of your possession. Hell yeah. Okay, I'll take that trade. That was a very good trade for me. Very, very good trade. But so now, what I have access into is... That's a heavy Storm Duster, too. That's really good. Ooh. Ooh, that's really good. Um, I want to make uh, my... My thing. Which I will definitely be able to do. Uh, so yeah, I'll activate this. Scout. And the scout is going to add just any monster that can be normal summoned. Uh, so I guess another carrier. Uh, yeah, that seems fine. So we'll get carrier. I can normal summon this. I can make um, I can make my uh, dude, and then I can climate change for three. So that'll be fine. Normal summon without tribute, please. I keep forgetting that prompt actually comes up. So we might want to uh, be benefiting. It, it might benefit us to you know wait instead of just start clicking because I could have easily clicked normal summon there, and I don't know if Yu-Gi-Oh Pro 2 would let me go back on that. I've probably figured this out before in the past, but uh, it's something that I'm not trying to figure out right now, at least. So we'll summon Genius. We'll summon it here. Solemn Warning. Sure, mate. Sure thing. Uh, climate change for three. So now these come back to my hand. My zone is now clear. Uh, which means that I can now uh, pendulum scale one of these. So I'll scale the monolith over here. I should have added disc, actually, because then I could summon disc. But no, I wouldn't be able to summon disc. I'm actually just being dumb. Uh, but So I'm going to special summon here. I'll special summon uh, these three. If I get uh, if I get like solemn striked here, then it got me duelists. I I don't think it, it matters particularly at this case at this point in juncture, because at the end of the day, I still have way more cards than he does. Um, so there's that, and now I can make genius again if I wanted to. I can make genius to uh, to like negate this thing's effect um, potentially. Hmm. Uh, well, it's level becomes four, and it's unaffected by anything with uh, with lower rank. So if this is like another fossil dino, then I guess that would be fine, because uh, these will just all die, and then I'll be able to do other things anyway. So this is fine. This is like I said, weird matchup. A Jaugen the Spiritualist. Well, that's dying. Potentially, I'd hope it's dying, because uh, I don't want to have to deal with it. But so he's playing Barrier Statue Stud. So, how do I side deck for this? I'm already in the side decking phase mentally. I don't think that this is a this is something that's going to require too much of my time or effort in terms of thought processes to close out the game. But it's definitely something that I want to, you know, take my time with. But so what I'm going to do is I'm going to special summon the Cleefort Genius, right? I'm going to use these two, summon it up here, um just so that these zones are open and then I have access into summoning another Cleefort Genius if I want to. If I want to use all of them I can. Uh, but so I'll end my turn here. So now I can pendle on those two next turn, start of the turn, no questions asked, I can get a scout search and then those. I'm gonna Heavy Storm Duster in the end phase. Um, so that's gonna be not of a fact. Any backer that he draws is gonna be a non-factor. He has no extra deck so anything like that isn't gonna be a factor as well. This card works very well with this deck. Um, and he's also giving me another scout search by upstarting me. Hell yeah. Alright. So, setting one. Well, this has been proven not to be a strike, so if he sets one more card, then I would definitely duster those two. Because this, if it was a strike, it would have been flipped on my pendulum from, for, uh, for three from hand, basically. That's not something that I think anybody would make the mistake of doing. Um, I don't think anybody would just not flip strike for three, <laughs> especially since I've already used cards to get those three monsters in my hand. Uh, end of main phase. End phase. 
Alright, well, we'll just heavy dust storm these. And those will go away, and then I get to Pendulum, and now everything is completely uh, no questions asked. Like, there's there's no way that I don't kill him. Uh, that was the Phantom Knight thing. Yeah, so now now we go into side again. That was a stealth, too. That was also really good. Okay, so now you see my list. My list is kind of wanky and, like, janky. And, like, I don't know how I feel about it. But at the same time, it's it's doing me well enough. Um, Recreate is not a card that I feel like has any value in this particular matchup. Same thing with Lose a Turn. Uh, so we'll take out Lose a Turn, we'll take out Recreate, or at least one of them. Um, I definitely feel like I like the idea of Floodgate Trap Hole. Uh, all of my stuff is like beaters that can get over his stuff, which is interesting. Uh, but at the same time, I really like the idea of Floodgate Trap Hole. Really, really like the idea of Floodgate Trap Hole. Uh, strike, not too sure about Recreate, again, out. Floodgate Trap Hole in. Um, Garageki is in. I've got these, which I'm not sure if they're going to be worthwhile. Um, I kind of want the other Floodgate Trap Hole in here. Uh, Skill Drain is worth. Uh, Recreate, or uh, Climate Change is worth. Um, I guess I'll just take out the Upstart, honestly. I, I play Upstart so I can side it out. The, the theory. Alright, so I guess I'll go with this. Max C and Ash Blossom just don't seem like they'd be super worth. I mean, Ash could hit things like, you know, Card of Demises, but, I mean, I don't think that I'm too worried about Card of Demise when I can just play the uh, the normal summon game. Anti-Spell Fragrance, Moon Mirror Shield. Alright. Well, Anti-Spell is not really that big of an issue for me because my deck has Heavy Storm Duster. Uh, so, and he took the Anti-Spell, but little does he know that my hand is literally three traps and a normal summonable monster that's bigger than his stuff unless he puts moon mirror shield or one of the phantom knight traps on it so that's fine i'll take that uh setting three normal summoning barrier statue of the inferno so i can't special summon except for fires but that's fine moon mirror shield all right so now i can't attack over it also fine setting a card one of these is anti-spell everything here is fine uh this is a storming mirror force which means i can I can uh, attempt to get rid of one of his things. Really? This is gonna let me activate this? Oh, it's because he hasn't flipped the anti spell yet. That's why. <laughs> so, normal summon this. Uh, so, if I had had scout there, like if I just raw dog drawn the scout again like I did the previous game, then that would have been a very bad position for my opponent to be in. Um, but, whatever. So, I'll set these cards. Uh, set strike, set this. Set this, and set climate change, and then I'll pass my turn. Uh, I can Storming Mirror Force this. If he has another thing like Dark Bribe or whatever, then that deals with cards. Lance deals with cards. If he lances, that's great, because Moon Mirror Shield will lose it. It'll, this thing will lose its ability to be uh, you know, boosted by Moon Mirror Shield, so then he'll just suicide it into the disc. So really, his only out to the Storming Mirror Force um, is... Okay, well he's lancing my disc. Interesting. You have a moon mirror shield here. Oh, he's doing that just to clear space. Okay, I see. Anti-spell, upstart, and dark bribe. Alright, well, there's a dark bribe there. So we'll see what happens uh, as far as this goes. Uh, if I storming his thing, I'm going to... Uh, he's taking upstart. So I won't know what he has. But if I uh, successfully storming this, I'm going to warning its summon. Just 100%. There's no reason not to. Um, oh, he drew into a Desires off the upstart. <laughs> I could potentially win by deck out, and no other reason. I mean, I could I could just keep Pendulum summoning probably, like, one monster. Um, and that would probably be fine. Ah, a Fossil Dino. Sure? I can still Normal Summon over that, so I'm not too worried about it. You haven't flipped the Anti-Spell yet, which is interesting. Um, uh, but at the same time... You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna do this and see where this gets me. Uh, you can attack over the disc with your with your uh, Pachycephalo, Pachycephalo, Fossil Dina, Pachycephalo. <laughs> oh, both of them went back to his hand. Fancy that! And he's already normal summoned for the turn. He's putting that on top of his deck, which means now if he uh, if I warning his next turn, that means that the card that he draws for turn is irrelevant. Oh, it keeps it face up so you know about it. How kind. How kind. I love how kind this program is. This program is so kind. Alright, so. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to activate Laser Clip. 
Uh, and so he can't flip his anti-spell, because then that puts him behind to turn on the Moon Mirror Shield. He's just in such a bad position here. My deck is the superior stun deck out of these two. Uh, there's no way you can tell me otherwise. Uh, I'm going to beat him with a disc. Oh. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Alright, so. What I'm going to do is I'm going to normal summon this without tribute. Uh, gaining my additional normal summon that Laser Clip allows me to have. I'm going to go into the Cleefort Genius. He's a smart boy! He's a genius! Um, so I'm going to summon this, and we're going to see if it baits any back row. And then I've got the, uh, okay, another warning. We both had warning both games. Interesting. Uh, but now I'm going to climate change, just to get those two back. Um, if my opponent has a dark bribe, I don't know why it wouldn't have come down on the Storming Mirror for us, but... I mean, I'll just climate change these two back, and then I'll normal summon that, uh, carrier again. Uh, and then that'll be fine. So we can normal summon the carrier. Normal summon. And then we'll go into battle phase. Uh, and we'll attack with this. And next turn... He's got one of these cards that's face down as an anti-spell, so one of these cards that's face down is not a factor. But also, um, he's drawing the Moon Mirror Shield next turn, and I know two cards that are in his hand, which are the Fossil Dyna and the Barrier Statue of Inferno, and all I have to do is warning one of his summons. Yeah, I'll warning that. This keeps this thing revealed for so long. That public knowledge bullshit, it keeps it revealed forever. Alright, so we're warning the uh, the Fossil Dyna, so now you have one normal summon. Oh, there it is. Oh, well, lucky there. <laughs> and he tells me what it is when it's set, too. <laughs> Amazing! This is the most amount of information. Summoner's Art! Alright, well, you're going to basically have to flip that anti-spell now, or else. Um, that's your uh, that's your your situation here, is flip anti-spell or else. Yeah, there you go. Um, so I'm going to Summoner's Art for, I think, Monolith. Because I could normal, um, normal, and then tribute for disc, special two from deck. And then that would be lethal, right? Um, well actually no, I can't, because this can't be normal summoned without tribute. That irritates me to a certain degree. Uh, but it should be fine, actually. Should be alright. Um, we'll go ahead and get the scout, just because. Uh, seems to be more beneficial that way. This is so irritating. This is 100 points off of game. Um, I can make cards because I have access to an extra deck. Um, so I can make Tornado Dragon, which invalidates his Moon Mirror Shield next turn as well. Um, I just have to put him on whether or not this, either of these cards is, uh, I have to put them on whether or not either of those cards are, uh, are a Solemn Strike, basically. Um, but so now I can activate this, detach this, get rid of the Anti-Spell, and see what this is. Aha! It's going away! And so now I can uh, Pendulum Scale this, and I should still have a Normal Summon, which means this should be game, right? In theory, unless this is a Mirror Force card, in which case, suck to suck. Um, but uh, we'll see what happens here. But so Cleefort Scout can activate, paying 800 for the first time this duel, uh, and I can get access into. Mm, here's the question. Uh, I'm gonna get Helix. Yeah, we'll get Helix. Um, I can then normal summon the Helix, and normal summon without tribute. And so now we'll go into battle phase and see what this card is. Um, not quite sure if I have any information on it. I do not have any information on it, and it's not relevant. But so, yeah, all right. Superior stun deck strikes again. So this was an odd matchup. This is literally the first time I've gone into the uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro 2 pool with Cleeforts, by the way, as well. I was putting the program on. I hope I updated it correctly, <laughs> essentially, <laughs> with all the pictures and shit. But yeah, I really like Cleefort Genius. Cleefort Genius is such, such, such a good card. Uh, like, there's there's no way that anybody can tell me that this card isn't great for Klee's, for ABC, for even something like Deskbots, because you can Pendulum Summon to Deskbot zones and stuff like that. Uh, you can, like, Pendulum, like, you can Machine Duplication to Deskbot 2s into the zones. Like, there's a lot of cool shit that you can do with this card that I'm actually really, really excited to explore 
in the coming days, in the coming weeks, because I'm going to be playing a lot of dual videos with a lot of the new legacy support that's coming out in the Link Reigns pack coming up. So if you have inter anything interesting that you'd like to see uh, as far as decks that can play, you know, any of the new links that they're getting, then definitely let me know in the comments down below as a suggestion. But other than that, as always, guys, thanks for watching, and let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. As always, like, comment, subscribe, do all that nonsense you usually do, and links as always are in the description of my Facebook fan page as well as my personal Patreon page. If you want to support the channel directly, Patreon is the best way to do so, and if you want to get access into my private Discord server with me and a bunch of other people, and if you're interested in monthly giveaways for Yu-Gi-Oh! products, then definitely go check out the reward tiers over on Patreon and see if anything is of interest to you. And you can have my thanks in advance for any support that you'd like to give. It helps out a ton. But other than that, as I've already said, thanks for watching. Thanks for your time as usual, guys. And take care. I'll see you in the next video. But anyway, now the video's over, I'd like to give special thanks to Travis Miller, Iradium, Jay Garcia, Yuki Phoenix, and Troy Perkins, as well as everybody else that's currently supporting me on Patreon this month. You guys help out a lot more than you may know, and you have my eternal gratitude as always. Thank you so much for the support, guys. You guys are awesome.